So, it's been two months. I know, I know. I, it's been a while. Um, but I wanted to go over a couple things. My channel has gone from, I think the video when I released it, the bandits damage up was crazy one. I need to turn the audio down. That one, I believe I had like 88 subscribers, something like that, when I released that video. And I have since... Okay, that's a little low now. I have since gone up to 102 subscribers. Doing nothing for two months. And it has nothing to do with that video either. Now, I, I've been kind of curious. Why in the world is my channel gaining subscribers without me doing anything? Is it more entertaining for my channel to, to not have me be part of it? And, uh, some might say yes, uh, but the real, the real thing is that for some reason, my Luigi's Mansion video that I uploaded, I think two years ago, uh, has gone to 10,000 views and just keeps going up more and more. I'm not sure as to why it's being recommended to so many people, but, uh, I mean, I'm not disappointed. Uh, so this video is kind of a celebration of two milestones. My first video that reached 10,000 views, as well as my channel reaching 100 subscribers. So, thank you everybody who is watching those. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the video up here on screen. Well, not show you the video, but show you which one it is. Um, I recommend anybody who hasn't seen it to go watch it. It's a fun little video that shows the culmination of my little Luigi's Mansion Let's Play that I did in 2022. And, uh, it's a unique little video synced up to some music. But, yeah, nothing nothing too special there. It's, it's just a Luigi's Mansion video. No, no better than 90% of what's already out there. But it got a lot of views, so I can't fault myself for that, right? But, no, I, I have been a little disappointed in myself for not uploading videos very frequently. Especially when I was kind of on a roll there for a little bit. Doing one video every week or two and then kind of going radio silent for two months. So, yeah, I know it's not professional, whatever. But... I apologize to anybody who uh, was wanting me to, to be uploading and hasn't seen anything come of my channel in two months. I'll try to be more consistent and God knows that's not going to happen because I always say that and then I'm not ever consistent. But I'll, I'll do what I can here and there. I've been really busy the last two months. I've started school again, which has taken a lot of my time as well as working full-time, which <laughs> takes the other half of the time that I have throughout any given day. Uh, so it's it's been rough, but I'm starting to see a little, a little bit of my life open up again. I'll be getting married in a month, which will be the greatest day of my life. So there's a, there's a lot of good going on. Yeah, no, I've, I've been engaged to my fiancé since Christmas Eve. And I, I didn't really mention it at all in any of the videos that I did make since then. But, yeah, we'll be getting married in May. And that's going to be a fantastic time. And hopefully uh, I'll be getting a new job that'll actually pay my bills sometime here around the end of uh, summer, after I'm done with school. It's just a, a back-end programming class that I'm taking, which will uh, give me the certificate needed to get pretty much any job in like website development. I'll even be able to work from home um, with some jobs, so we'll see what I do end up getting. But. I'm hoping to just be able to get paid more and not have to work so many hours. Now, I want to—I do want to say that if there is anybody that does like 
truly enjoy watching my videos and you are looking for the next one that I release on a on a weekly basis or whatever then I I do apologize for not uploading and feel free to say so in the in the comments and I'll try to do my best to make sure that we kind of keep on track here a little bit it, if nothing at least one video a month um, on the busier months that I have my uh, my life can be either really busy or really not busy. Actually, not. So. How about you? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> my life can either be really busy or really not busy on any uh, any given day or week or month or whatever it ends up being. So, don't feel like just because I don't upload for a couple weeks or even a month or two at a time doesn't mean I'm not gonna upload again I've had my breaks and uh... And, you know everybody needs a break now and then if it didn't take up so much time to record and edit videos I'd probably do it a lot more often but you know video editing is very time consuming as I'm sure a lot of people know Oh man. Whew, I am getting super close to death here. I'm surprised I was able to stay afloat. It's these bastards 99% of the time. Now this video that I'm making isn't like really a celebration video. It's me playing multi and beating multi in uh, Monsoon. But I feel like because my channel has just recently hit 100 subscribers, no better time than now to make a, make a video for it. So yeah, I'm just trying to beat multi, or <laughs> beat the game with multi and uh in monsoon specifically and kind of keep this theme of beating the game with every single character and we also got a new update and the new dlc being released soon um i think we can look to when, when did they say the update was being released or the dlc I, I think i don't think they released a date or made a release date for the update or uh, dlc the update, I think, is probably coming sometime in the next month or so. The DLC might not be coming until probably around like the end of summer or even the end of the year. So we might have to wait a while to look for that. I almost want to start the teleporter event now, but obviously I should probably be looking for some items. I want to get the poly loot. Where can I find that? There's no void seed here, so I don't think I'm going to be getting it unless I get lucky enough to find a void cradle. Got a hunter's harpoon and red whip. There's also lots of uh, new stuff with games with other games coming out all the time too like I've been wanting to make a Dead by Daylight video maybe a couple Dead by Daylight videos because I've been playing that game pretty much all the time like there's there's almost never a day that I don't play Dead by Daylight so I might end up making a couple videos of that it's been a little bit since I played Rick, Risk of Rain actually and I think it's been since I released that bandit video that I've uh, that I've played Risk of Rain, but I think I still got what it takes to be able to beat the game. What's funny is I actually did record this multi video two months ago, um, immediately after I did the Bandit one, and the very first game I played, I completed it in Monsoon with a uh, with a uh, multi. But the problem is I. Uh, <laughs> I did it on the wrong account. It was an account that I had already completed Monsoon uh, with pretty much everybody, I think. Um, so it 
was useless. And then I created this account that I'm playing on specifically for uh, making YouTube videos with uh, with new progress and all that. Unlocking new things. Just because just why not? And, uh, and I accidentally did it on my account that I already had everything unlocked. So I, I wanted to remake it. Because I feel like it's a little bit more of a challenge to do it on this account where I don't have everything unlocked. So, you know, I, there's some overpowered items that I don't have yet. Uh, although I'm not exactly sure what those are, because again, I haven't touched the game in two months. We got that guy coming down soon, the new final boss. Um, when it comes to the lore, I'm not entirely sure who this next like threat is. Who, who he's supposed to be. Uh, I want to say... When I when I first saw him, I thought it was like a culmination of Mithrix, Providence, and Aurelianite. But I think it is just I, I I think it's something more like Providence's soul fused with Aurelianite or something like that. Or it's a new character altogether. But I don't know. I uh, I really only know the lore of the base game and some of Risk of Rain 1. Like, I, I've killed Providence one time. When Risk of Rain Returns came out, I played that a little bit and just played a fun little uh, drizzle game where I went and killed Providence. I never beat the game, the original game, back in 2013. And uh, a little regretful of, uh, of that, because that, that game was just so much harder than Risk of Rain 2. Risk of Rain Returns, I'd say, is still... It's not quite as hard as Risk of Rain 1, you know, the original. Um, but it's, uh, it's still really tough compared to Risk of Rain 2. You know, I've never completed a Monsoon game of Risk of Rain 1. But Risk of Rain 2, I've completed a lot of Monsoon games. Oh boy. That's... Oh man, those ice fox, man, they're they're making my life hard. Oh my god, how many of these guys are there? There should only be two of them, shouldn't there? I'm not playing with swarms or or uh, I'm not, and it's only been 14 minutes of the game. Oh my god, I could not get the get to the turn. Whoa, I, I need some health bad, like... I don't think I have any healing items. Oh, no, I do have, I have Bungus. Okay, let me... Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, great. I'm I'm struggling a little bit here. We'll just leave it at that. Oh boy. I'm being tossed around, around like a freaking rag doll right now. Whew, this is intense. Um, okay, let's go ahead and not let these guys kill me. Ideally, get some health back. Oh. Come on, die before I do, please. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think there's only one left. I do not have the items that I need.
Oh, come on. Oh, did you heal all the way? What the heck? Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Man. Oh my god, that was scary. I desperately need different healing items, although I'm not upset that I got these. Did I activate a Shrine of the Mountain? Oh my god, I did. I'm so stupid. I didn't realize that I activated a Shrine of the Mountain. <laughs> I must have done it just completely mind-numbingly, not realizing... Uh, because normally I, I always activate Shrines of the Mountains, but I'm also usually paying attention when I do it. Whereas I've been talking about a bunch of other stuff. So I didn't realize until quite literally just after I killed them all that I had one active. That would make sense though, as to why there were three of them. Alright, um, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and use that right away. And let me find some chests. I want to replace this for obvious reasons. Not at a terrible spot right now, but it certainly could be better. Bleed is definitely something good to go for with multi, though. I won't be upset with that. Are there any other enemies running around? Uh, let's just let's just get some guaranteed items first and foremost, and let's get this guy to the fuck out of here. Oh, you are actually a much greater threat. God, I hate the uh, enemies added in the uh, the Survivors of the Void DLC. Okay, this guy is the biggest threat right now. Let's take him out. Okay. Mocha, I'll take that. I will also not be opposed to a razor wire. Now let me find a healing item. Don't get me wrong, you know, Bungus is nice, but something like Wungus would be a little better. Since this is here, there's surely going to be some chests up here. Better yet, a shrine. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. Monster Tooth, not bad. Do I go with Banner or Monster Tooth? I do, I do need the extra healing. At the same time, Banner is a really good offense item. I'll stick with my gut and go with Monster Tooth. As tempting as Banner is, Monster Tooth is little more necessary right now. Oh, I don't think I've gotten this environment log yet. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's also... Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the crowbar just because with the build that I'm going for it's not really gonna be useful. I'm not going to bother scrapping that because it's the only yellow I have. And it's better to have it than, you know, to just have the scrap in my inventory. That's basically a scrap as it is. Um. You know, I think. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of Gore's Tome. I don't, it's not super useful. Oh, great. 
I fucking hate the Doom Striders. as much distance as I can get on these fuckers. Wrong one. Oh, I don't like that at all. The Doom Striders are honestly the only really scary boss to fight for me. S sometimes the Imp Lord, Overlord, whatever it's called but mostly the Doom Striders, just because they can pump out such an insane amount of damage in a short amount of time. It's a little scary sometimes. One good strategy that I always neglect to take advantage of is 99ing the teleporter and then killing the boss. Because when you get the teleporter to 99%, no other enemies can spawn. So it's a good way to just fight the boss on its own without any distractions. Unfortunately, it can lead to, uh, you know, getting overwhelmed right away regardless due to the fact that you're staying in the zone and not leaving to, you know, go heal or do whatever. I'm gonna, oh, I'll wait for a second. Oh, that would be so good. Problem is, what do I want to risk getting rid of to be able to uh, to, get, to get this? You know, it's hmm. that's such a good item, though. I'm gonna take the risk. All right, I didn't get rid of anything too good. I think that was well worth it. Um, I don't have any drones right now, but if I go grab some, then I'll, they'll be, you know, a lot better. What's up, dude? Douchebag. And I, <laughs> Transcendence wouldn't be too bad. I'm not going to go with that, though. That's a, that's a risk I don't really need to take. This thing isn't a risk at all, though, so I'm going to gladly take that. Now, do I risk going down there? That's a question. I mean... Couldn't hurt. Ooh, that definitely hurt, though. Getting more uh, PSGs would be nice. Actually, you know what? Definitely, definitely could hurt to come here. It actually could be very deadly to do so, but, you know, we'll, we'll give it a shot. I'm not, I'm not that scared. A little bit, but not that scared. Besides, it... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is the enemy I gotta deal with. Oh, that's... I changed my mind. This is actually very scary. That's, that might actually be the worst possible enemy the game could have given me for this. But the cells do charge faster because of my, uh, what's this called? Focus Convergence. He's dying. He's, uh, he's dying real good. So is Droneman. Uh, Droneman's got a lot more health than this guy. Actually, he's got a lot less health. 
Otherwise, he'd be taking more damage. Maybe, you know, I guess his, his regen's just a little better. Huh. Let's see what we got. I can get another Bungus, or, better yet, I can get something like Backup Mag or Focus Crystal. And I'm going to go with the Crystal because uh, I think it's actually going to be more useful. And I'm grabbing both of these. Does this out heal? Barely. Okay. So we'll be good. We'll be good. This out heals the, uh, the void. So I'll be fine. Oh, I didn't know there were chests in here. My dog is just sniffing my pants right now while I'm doing this. I'm a. Oh. Do I go with the slug or the sticky? Healing or. Offense. I'm gonna go with the slug just because. I usually go all out offense and that fucks me over, so I'm gonna try a little bit of defense this time around. Got another printer. Is it a green one? Can I make use of a green? It is not. It is a filthy, disgusting roll of pennies. Let's heal up a little bit first. Oh yeah, I can also take advantage of the of that. Oh, I didn't realize they have extra armor, so it's probably best not to use this. Because <laughs> I don't think that'll do any more than one damage to them. I wasn't paying attention to the damage numbers, though. Come on, Cell, let's let's get breached. I, did, I do not want to see another one of these guys. They're already scary enough to fight without items. What do we got? Hell yeah! That's what we're looking for. Hmm. That probably actually might have been a better choice than the gas. Oh my god. You've got to be shitting me. What is this? It's just giving me all the worst possible enemies for this shit, man. Please don't be one near me. That is actually <laughs> astonishing the horrid luck that I've had with that. The two worst possible enemies to get for uh, for doing the void fields. Like, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, these are the two worst possible enemies I could have gotten for this. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I'm dead. God, man! <laughs> that is extremely unfair. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I wouldn't be so concerned with doing it if, <laughs> if it wasn't a challenge. Oh, that's stage seven or later, though. Multi seventh day. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't that big a deal then. Hmm. Beetle Queen? I didn't know she was a possible choice. Although, due to the nature of the boss type, I don't think very... or of the enemy type, rather. 
because it's not considered a boss here. I don't think very many are able to spawn at once. That doesn't mean there's not a lot of these guys that can spawn. Uh, can't spawn at once. It's gonna be the first time in one of these videos that I've gone to the void fields and didn't get fucking butt rate. Oh, but they got the scorpion. That's not good. Ooh, that's. Okay, I'm definitely calling this bitch in now. They can reduce my armor very drastically, so I'm gonna... Yeah, every time they hit me, my armor is reduced by two permanently. I think, as, I think once I switch to a new stage, it resets, but... While I'm on this stage, my armor will be reduced, so I just want to make sure I'm not hit at all. A lot better than them getting Dio's best friend though, because I would rather not have each of them being revived with 5 second invulnerability. It's not really very good, I guess I'll go with the alien head. Alright, time to finish up this video by obliterating myself. Fucked up my drone. Took him to the shadow realm. Oh damn, this is a This level's been infested by by void enemies, so I'm only gonna see those fuckers. I'm not gonna see any regular enemies. Another equipment drone. Oh, dude. Let's, uh, let's throw this dude inside it. What the fuck? Why did I die? What do you mean the planet killed me? How was I sucked into the void? The fucker was dead. Huh? No, there's... There's enemies that when they die, they release an implosion that will insta-kill you regardless of your stats. And one of the enemies did it, but is already finished with me outside of its radius. And then I went to go pick up an item that was inside its radius, and then I just exploded and died. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I was literally just that teleporter event away from being able to have this achievement done. Are you fucking kidding me? It's so gay. I'm gonna kill Knight. <laughs> oh, great. I'm gonna get as far away from this dick bag as I can. Oh, that's good to know. Apparently when those big fuckers die and implode, 
their implosion then shoots out like six smaller implosions that are all delayed. And I'm assuming one of them must have just so happened to land on me. That's gay as fuck. But now I know. I'm just gonna go straight to the portal, ignore all the items. I gotta go! Got a blast! Well, this time, at the very least, I didn't fail right as I made it to the end. That's nice. <clears throat> I wish I was able to do it in a single attempt like I did the very first time I ever played multi. However, I, uh, oh, I recorded that on the wrong profile, so... Where's the portal? Oh, I almost just looped again. Oh, that would have... That would have sucked. Okay. We're in the clear. Oh. Whoops. This void really be infinite, huh? Just gonna keep falling. Okay. Well, finally stopped falling. So they want you to go down using the uh, magical rocks that appear, but by the time you get to this point in the game, you kind of can just fly over it all. Yay! I've finally obliterated as multi and not had it be on the wrong pro profile. That is four mastered characters. Whoopee. Anyways, that's it. Uh, thank you for 100 subscribers, and I will be releasing a 100 subscriber video sometime in the next... whenever the fuck I decide to make it. See ya.